Welcome to Next Level Intel. Previously, we converted a table into a range. Now, when we converted that table into a range, Excel inserted the worksheet name into the formula. Now, this could cause you some major issues, so we're going to show you how to fix that. <laughs> Here we have the data table that we've been working with on our desktop. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a filter to the header row. I'm gonna do that by clicking on any of the cells within the header. Then I'm gonna go up to sort and filter, click till I get a drop down, and click on filter. Now you'll notice that we have these arrows in our header row. In a previous video, we showed you how to use this filter option to sort data. If we click on L2, you'll notice that the name of the worksheet is within the formula. This happened when we converted the table into a range. When I click on the cell L3, you'll see that my formula is grabbing the data from I3 and multiplying it by the data in J3. But watch what happens when I sort the data. Now when I click on L3, you'll notice that my formula is grabbing I8 and multiplying it by J8. This can cause some serious issues. So I'm going to hit enter. I also notice that there are other formulas within this range that are also referencing the worksheet. I'm gonna show you how to fix this within Microsoft Excel. If we hit Control Z, we can go back before the sorting of the data. Now that the formulas have been corrected, I can go up and grab the worksheet name within the formula and copy. Now hit the escape key just to get out of the formula. Now we will highlight I2 through O13. Now hold down the control key on your keyboard and hit the F key. Now we're gonna click the replace option and we're gonna paste that worksheet name into the find what section by pressing control V. In the replace with section, we wanna leave this blank because we want to delete this name out of the formula. Now go down and hit replace all. Now you'll see a window pop up that states that we had 72 replacements and hit okay. And you can now close the window. Now you'll notice that back in column L3, the worksheet name is gone. So I'll show you one more time that when we double click, it is pulling I3 and J3. Uh, we'll hit the escape key. Now we'll go up and choose to sort our data. And we'll click on L3 again. Now you'll notice that we have corrected this anomaly. We want to thank you all for watching. If you're having any issue viewing these mini sessions, go to our website at www dot nextlevelintel.com. We'll send them to your inbox daily in order. Happy excelling and God bless.